Hey there, off-road enthusiasts. Welcome back to Side-by-Side -Side We Ride, your ultimate destination for all things side-by-side -side related. Before we dive into today's exciting topic, we want to give a huge shout out to our amazing sponsors. Planet Side-by-Side, -Side, MTS Off-Road, America's Oasis, and Graphics Guys Motorsports. Without their support, this channel wouldn't be possible. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you love off-roading as much as we do. And be sure to leave a comment below telling us your favorite place to off-road. We love hearing from you. Today, we're counting down the top five side-by-side off-road destinations in the United States. These destinations are a must-visit for any off-road enthusiast. So let's get started. Welcome to the Alpine Loop in Colorado, coming in at number five on our list. A beautiful mountainous paradise for side-by-side -side and UTV enthusiasts. This 65-mile loop offers an unforgettable off-roading experience through the stunning San Juan Mountains. Join us as we explore why the Alpine Loop is a must-visit destination for adventure seekers. The Alpine Loop is a 65-mile trail that connects the historic towns of Silverton, Are, and Lake City. This loop takes you through two major mountain passes, Engineer Pass and Cinnamon Pass, both over 12,000 feet high. The journey offers a mix of easy and challenging terrain, making it perfect for both novice and experienced riders. Riders will encounter a variety of terrains on the Alpine Loop. From rocky outcroppings and steep drop-offs to lush meadows and serene waterfalls, the scenery is nothing short of spectacular. Keep an eye out for wildlife, including deer, elk, and even the occasional bear. The Alpine Loop connects three charming towns, Silverton, Are, and Lake City. Each town offers unique attractions and amenities. Silverton is known for its historic mining sites, Ure boasts natural hot springs, and Lake City provides a peaceful retreat with plenty of outdoor activities. Expect a full day of adventure on the Alpine Loop. The trail takes about five to seven hours to complete, depending on stops and detours. Along the way, you'll pass by abandoned mines, ghost towns, and breathtaking viewpoints. The speed limit is 15 miles per hour, so take your time and soak in the beauty. Over 100,000 people visit the Alpine Loop each summer, making it one of the most popular off-highway roads in the United States. The best time to visit is from late June to early September, when the trail is snow-free and the weather is mild. Avoid visiting during early spring and late fall, as snow can block the passes. There are plenty of lodging options near the Alpine Loop. You can find rustic campgrounds, cozy cabins, and charming bed and breakfasts in Silverton, Ure, and Lake City. For a unique experience, consider staying at Pleasant View Resort in Lake City, which offers cabin rentals and ATV rentals on site. Before hitting the trail, make sure you have a current Colorado OHV permit. All operators must have a valid driver's license and proof of liability insurance. Remember to stay on designated trails and follow local regulations to protect this beautiful area. The Alpine Loop in Colorado is a dream destination for side-by-side -side and UTV enthusiasts. With its stunning scenery, diverse terrain, and rich history, it's an adventure you won't want to miss. So gear up, hit the trail, and create memories that will last a lifetime. Welcome to the Arizona Peace Trail, coming in at number four on our list. A popular destination for side-by-side -side and UTV enthusiasts. Spanning over 675 miles, this trail offers an unforgettable off-roading adventure through the stunning landscapes of western Arizona. The Arizona Peace Trail is a 675-mile off-highway vehicle trail loop system that connects the counties of Mojave, La Paz, and Yuma. This trail is the largest off-highway vehicle loop trail in the United States, making it a must-visit destination for off-roading enthusiasts. As you traverse the Arizona Peace Trail, you'll encounter a variety of terrains. From the high desert in the mountains to the floodplains of the Colorado River, the trail offers a mix of valleys, canyons, and desert washes. Expect to see towering saguaro cacti, unique rock formations, and abundant wildlife, including bighorn sheep, coyotes, and wild burrows. The Arizona Peace Trail connects several key cities and towns, including Bullhead City, Kingman, Lake Havasu City, Parker, Quartzsite, Yuma, and Salome. Each of these locations offers unique attractions and amenities, making them perfect stops along your journey. Thousands of outdoor enthusiasts visit the Arizona Peace Trail each year. 
riders can expect to experience breathtaking views, historical mining sites, and local desert communities. The trail is divided into 32 segments, allowing for flexible trip planning and exploration. The best time to visit the Arizona Peace Trail is from October to May, when the weather is mild and the wildflowers are in bloom. Avoid visiting during the summer months, as daytime temperatures can exceed 110 degrees, making it challenging to ride. There are plenty of lodging options near the trail, including RV parks, hotels, and campgrounds. Popular choices include the Wikiup Trading Post, Days' Desert Oasis RV Park, and hotels in Lake Havasu City and Kingman. Before hitting the trail, make sure to obtain the necessary permits. All off-highway vehicles must have a current Arizona off-highway vehicle sticker. Additionally, some areas may require a state land recreation permit if you plan to camp or explore outside the designated trail. The Arizona Peace Trail was first initiated by the Bureau of Land Management and the Arizona Game and Fish Department in 2013. The trail officially opened to the public in 2016, and since then, it has become one of the most iconic off-roading destinations in the United States. Welcome to the Hatfield-McCoy Trail System, coming in at number three on our list, a haven for side-by-side -side and UTV enthusiasts. With over 1,000 miles of trails, this system offers an exhilarating off-roading experience in the heart of West Virginia. The Hatfield-McCoy Trail System, also known as Trails Heaven, is one of the largest off-highway vehicle trail systems in the world. Located in the beautiful and rugged mountains of southern West Virginia, this trail system spans over 1,000 miles and covers nine counties. As you explore the Hatfield-McCoy trail system, you'll encounter a variety of terrains. The trails wind through mountainous and wooded areas, with black soil peppered with granite. Expect to see steep mountains, narrow valleys, and fresh streams running below, offering a mix of easy, moderate, and advanced trails. The Hatfield-McCoy trail system connects several ATV-friendly towns, including Logan, Mann, Gilbert, Matwan, and Williamson. Each of these towns offers fuel, food, lodging, and a generous helping of Southern hospitality, making them perfect stops along your journey. The Hatfield-McCoy trail system attracts thousands of visitors each year. Riders can expect to experience breathtaking views, historical landmarks, and local Appalachian culture. The trail system is divided into 10 individual trail systems, each with its own unique personality and challenges. The Hatfield-McCoy trail system is open year-round, but the best times to visit are during the spring, summer, and fall. Each season offers its own unique beauty, from blooming wildflowers to vibrant fall foliage. While the trails are open in winter, be prepared for colder temperatures and potential snow. There are plenty of lodging options near the trail system, including cabins, hotels, and campgrounds. Popular choices include the Devil's Backbone Adventure Resort in Matewan, West Virginia, and various accommodations in the ATV-friendly towns. Before hitting the trails, make sure to obtain the necessary permits. All riders are required to have a visible user permit, which grants access to the hundreds of miles of private trails. Permits can be purchased online or at various local outfitters. The Hatfield-McCoy Trail System was first developed by the West Virginia Legislature in 1996 and officially opened to the public in October 2013. Since then, it has grown to become one of the most iconic off-roading destinations in the United States. Whether you're a seasoned off-roader or a newcomer to the world of UTVs, the Hatfield-McCoy Trail System offers an adventure like no other. So gear up, hit the trails, and experience the ultimate off-roading journey in the heart of West Virginia. And welcome to Moab, Utah, coming in at number two on our list, a rock-crawling paradise for side-by-side -side and UTV enthusiasts. With its breathtaking scenery and diverse terrains, Moab offers an unforgettable off-roading adventure in the heart of the American Southwest. Moab, located in eastern Utah, is renowned for its dramatic scenery and outdoor recreational opportunities. This small town is the gateway to some of the most iconic off-roading trails in the United States, making it a must-visit destination for UTV enthusiasts. Moab's terrain is a playground for off-roaders, You'll encounter a mix of slick rock, sand dunes, canyons, and riverbeds. The area is surrounded by a sea of buckled, 
twisted and worn sandstone sculpted by millennia of sun, wind, and rain. Expect to see stunning rock formations, arches, and the vibrant colors of the desert landscape. Moab is the largest city in Grand County and serves as the perfect base for exploring nearby attractions. Don't miss the chance to visit Arches National Park, Canyonlands National Park, and Dead Horse Point State Park. Each of these locations offers unique landscapes and thrilling off-roading opportunities. Moab attracts millions of visitors each year. Riders can expect to experience breathtaking views, historical landmarks, and a vibrant local culture. The town is bustling with outdoor enthusiasts, making it a lively and welcoming destination. The best times to visit Moab are during the spring, March to May, and fall, September to October, when the weather is mild and perfect for outdoor activities. Avoid visiting during the summer months, as temperatures can soar above 100 degrees, making it challenging to enjoy your time in nature. There are plenty of lodging options in and around Moab, including hotels, campgrounds, and vacation rentals. Popular choices include the Best Western Plus Canyonlands Inn and the Hampton Inn Moab. Whether you prefer a cozy cabin or a luxurious hotel, you'll find the perfect place to rest after a day of adventure. Before hitting the trails, make sure to obtain the necessary permits. All off-highway vehicles must display a current off-highway vehicle registration sticker. Non-resident permits can be purchased online and are valid for a full year. Moab has a rich history dating back to its founding in the mid-1850s as a Mormon mission. Over the years, it has evolved into a hub for outdoor recreation and tourism, attracting adventurers from around the world. Whether you're a seasoned off-roader or a newcomer to the world of UTVs, Moab, Utah, offers an adventure like no other. So gear up, hit the trails, and experience the ultimate off-roading journey in this stunning desert landscape. And finally, our number one most popular side-by-side off-road destination in the United States. Welcome to Glamis, also known as the Imperial Sand Dunes, a duner's heaven for side-by-side -side and UTV enthusiasts. With its expansive sand dunes and stunning desert landscapes, Glamis offers an unforgettable off-roading adventure in Southern California. The Imperial Sand Dunes Recreation Area, commonly referred to as Glamis, is the largest off-highway vehicle recreation area for sand dunes in the United States. Located in the southeast corner of California, this dune system extends for more than 40 miles and averages 5 miles in width. Glamis is a playground for off-roaders, offering a variety of terrains. You'll encounter rolling sand dunes, big bowls, jumps, and wide-open spaces. The dunes often reach heights of 300 feet above the desert floor, providing outstanding opportunities for recreation. Expect to see golden sand as far as the eye can see, creating a surreal desert landscape. Glamis is conveniently located near several cities, including Brawley, El Centro, and Yuma. These cities offer essential amenities such as fuel, food, and lodging, making them perfect stops along your journey. Glamis attracts over 1 million visitors each year. Riders can expect to experience thrilling off-roading adventures, breathtaking views, and a vibrant off-roading community. The area is known for its friendly atmosphere and the camaraderie among off-road enthusiasts. The best time to visit Glamis is during the fall and winter months, from October to March, when the temperatures are milder. Avoid visiting during the summer, as temperatures can soar above 100 degrees, making it challenging to enjoy your time in the dunes. Additionally, try to avoid major holidays and weekends, as the area can become extremely crowded. There are plenty of lodging options near Glamis, including campgrounds, RV parks, and hotels. Popular choices include the Glamis Flats Campground, Gecko Campground, and hotels in Brawley and El Centro. Whether you prefer camping under the stars or staying in a comfortable hotel, you'll find the perfect place to rest after a day of adventure. Before hitting the dunes, make sure to obtain the necessary permits. Permits are required from October 1st through April 15th each year and can be purchased online or from local vendors. Weekly permits are $35 in advance and $50 if purchased on site, while season permits are $150. The Imperial Sand Dunes, also known as the Algodones Dunes, were formed by wind-blown sands of ancient Lake Cahuilla. 
The area gained popularity in the 1960s as a hotspot for off-road enthusiasts and has since become a bucket list destination for adventurers from around the world. Whether you're a seasoned off-roader or a newcomer to the world of UTVs, Glamis offers an adventure like no other. So gear up, hit the dunes, and experience the ultimate off-roading journey in this stunning desert landscape. Thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. We hope you enjoyed exploring the top five off-road destinations in America with us. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Side by Side We Ride channel for more exciting off-road content. We'd also love to hear from you. Drop a comment below and let us know your favorite off-road destination. Your feedback helps us bring you the best content possible. Until next time, keep riding and stay safe out there. We will see you on the trails.